This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Benny Ak and Ife Omai. Hello. How are you doing? Ladies. Going. I love the red, red, it, wine Benny red. Benny needs to stop copying me. It was white the What's other it, day, man? and now it's red. I don't know what's so, going like... on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, anyway. you got something a little bit red going on for you, though, mm -mm. isn't it? Mm -mm. Pink. It's, it's, pink, yeah. pink, pink all the way. Pink. Mm -mm. Pink. A shade of red. It's fine. It's all right. <laughs> Okay, let's start with this one, which is DJ Copy, Mr. Easy, Pato Rankin, Swanky Jerry makes Forbes 30 on the 30 list for 2020. This 10th annual list is spread across finance, tech, arts, and sports, and features 30 young entrepreneurs in Africa who are innovating their respective industries. Nigeria makes up the majority of honorees um, in the list. South Africa and Botswana had four of their young entrepreneurs on the list. Ghana had three, while Uganda had two of its young entrepreneurs on that same list. Cameroon, Malawi, Tanzania, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Morocco, Sudan, and Ivory Coast had one entrepreneur each on the same list. You know, being, being on Forbes, being on Forbes is a big, a yeah, big deal, is. you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then especially on um, the Forbes 30 under 30, um, which we've seen a whole lot of African um, young entrepreneurs and people doing outstanding stuff in their field of endeavors come on, I mean, almost yearly. Again, I'm beginning to I have, I have a little bit of um, spell of doubt on the credibility of how they actually pick these people who make it in their sphere of influence in their chosen field in sports, music, art, science and all that stuff. Um, how do they get nominated? Um, is it a voting process? How do you actually, what, param what parameters are put in place? You apply. You know, so when you yeah. apply, they now start checking through Making to investigations. Make sure you know, because you at the end of the day, I see some people on that list. list. Okay, what, what, how much of impact and influence do they really wield in, in their sphere of, um, um, of influence as it is? You know, e.g. Um, e DJ copy number one. I mean, she's no one. She's no one of the best DJs we have around. I don't. I don't know what influence. Maybe, does she have an NGO? Does she have a foundation? She maybe. has a foundation. Maybe she that's where NGO. she's wielding the influence. But then but I think she came in in the entertainment, to, not on that NGO mm, business. That's it. So you know, so it's um, the, 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 the bigger the DJs out there who are, who are, who wield more influence. In, and they're under thirty. Yeah. Well, yeah, under yeah, under thirty, yes, okay. yes, under thirty. You know, and so you begin to I, I question a little bit the credibility. Maybe another thing is those who did not apply. apply. Yeah. Maybe. Um, mm -hmm. And that is again not to take the credit from those who who have made it on the list. Like I said, Forbes is big deal. You know, and so these are people doing outstanding well in what they've chosen to do. Um, I, I wish more Nigerians would actually apply for it. People would know actually um, will influences and they're making a difference in people's life into this. And again, maybe they're the people who are not necessarily they're not, they're not interested. And get on a fob because fob is not like um, a thing of big affluence. Once you get on fob, everyone think think of you like as wealthy and rich. No, well, that's I'm, just really, I'm happy. You know. I'm happy for them, at least for those on the list. And I always say to every Pato other. Ranking, my man made it there too. Every yes. other young um, African <laughs> doing something big out there, I'll just say, you don't necessarily need. I have to get on Forbes. You don't have to get on Forbes to know that you're doing something amazing. Exactly. If you get on Forbes, yes, awesome, but. Um, Kudos, that's what I would say. But for me, yeah, Swanky Jerry, I feel like I've seen a lot of dragging <coughs> of him on social media that it's difficult for me to believe that he's under 30. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, I was surprised when I saw the age and it's like, he's 28. I like, okay, Is he 28 or 29? 29. Whatever you know, it is, I'm I like, like, I like Swanky, okay. Swanky like, that we've been talking about for a long time, dragging yeah, A just, and dragging just B, 29. Just 29. Like, wow, okay, <laughs> great. But Ooh. we can't take him from yeah. Jerry. Mm. He's proven himself to be one of the... One of the um, <laughs> It's an embodiment of style when yeah, it comes to, to the fashion it industry in Nigeria. I think he deserves it. You know, and um, yeah, he, he deserves it. Mm -hmm. I gotta I, say I, that. I, my my thing was more of the countries. I was very surprised to see Botswana having more than one person. Um, I think that really inspired me because it's so easy to make excuses. Um, Botswana is very tiny, very, very, very tiny. A lot of the Nigerians that I see on there are, in my opinion, are. Bar are um, benefiting from population counts, you know. Um, exactly. But to see Botswana there, I was just like, okay, if I didn't have an excuse, because I know people who live there well, and I know the amount of challenges and obstacles that they could face from just being that. So making that list was like, okay, well done. So, so you're making a list next year, right? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really, I'm really impressed by that. I don't really see Forbes as something that you use to showcase your 
ego or whatever. I think it's an acknowledgement from somebody else, and that's always beautiful. I don't really wow. care it's nice where you don't it's see it that way, but that that's what, what it is. For some people, I, mean, they're, 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 <laughs> I don't really think so. You know, I think some it's people only at the end of it, they flaunt it like, yeah, I made it to Forbes, you know, Forbes. Seth, I will flaunt any you. award that so I get. So that's it. So it's it's <clears> it's a thing. It's it's big deal for people, so they can use it to flaunt. No, let, let's not that try to. And again, to be honest, I don't think it's about flaunting. I think it gives you an exposure. And if I'm working really hard, why wouldn't I not get that exposure? Remember what I said. Forbes is big deal, and just like any other recognition out there. I mean, once you get nominated for something, like you rightly said, it's it's a recognition for yeah, something you're doing. Yeah, because if you're not doing anything, for Forbes you won't be well, recognized. Like you rightly said, it's not just for recognition or just the award. It gives you, it puts you on an international platform. platform. Like yeah. you get to now be able to have more and more international collaborations, international deals. And that's so why I feel like the bragging, you have right, the bragging rights to hopefully. me are the least of the things that you benefit from there. I think we, are, we as the consumers are the ones seeing the bragging rights as something that they're carrying. I think it exposes them to be able to do more business and like get their word out it. there. Of course, yeah, yeah. They're, so they're, they're, they're the people that are getting on there are definitely utilizing their, their purchases. If not, they wouldn't have applied for Forbes to begin with. So well, I not think... every one of them has utilized it. Because anyway. I know a few. Oh, well, moving on real quick <laughs> to the next story. I can't count the number of lies um, patients have told me. I remember the first, um, the first had a leg ulcer. I had ruled out every possible cause during my clerking. Then I asked him his genotype. He said AA. I sent for a test. At the end, his genotype was SS. He knew, but it wasn't his portion. C, I understand faith, but withholding certain information could keep you stuck in that problem. Doctors need every information to help you. Yes, we ask a lot of questions, but that's because we don't know you and we are trying to understand your history to help you better. And this is coming from medical doctor and influencer, Dr. Chioma Wakama. Yeah, so I, I, I think this um, story is important because of the situation of the second death we had um, on COVID-19 and how the person was um, trying to hide yeah, his travel, travel history and all that. But before we go deep into the story, let's go for a short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now. Wow. And that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Minimal mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Before we went on that break, we were talking about um, Dr. Wankama's opinion shared on social media based on her experience in practice and how patients would hide their medical history and we've even seen the one of travel history based on it is not my portion. Mm. I think it's just, I, I, to be honest with you, I just think the person is an inherent liar. That's just what it is. It's not about not being their portion. They just want to be I just, they just want so. to deceive people. Yeah, other I, I, doctors the, the came on that post and they shared the no, same experience. No, the reason experience. why I say that they're lying is because they don't implement that in everything else. When they are begging mm. people for money, they don't say, blood of Jesus, I'm, I'm rich and I'm not going to beg people for to, money. Uh, they don't uh, say, I'm they, broke. They, they say, Santi, I'm rich, I beg. But they should tell <laughs> you that they need they're money. The most, they're the most beggars on social if, media. You can't pick and choose mm. where you want. And I feel like they have bad intentions. Like, they either want to be able to spread that virus yeah. or it's not It's not, It's not. not coming from a place of... It's. This is what I, 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 I call a good example of false humility like i'm so humble but really false you are who? very arrogant and you have bad intentions because the lady that gave that spread coronavirus around in ocean state or Gose or wherever that they had and her kids had symptoms and they can't she said no i didn't travel anywhere like that's not faith that's just being mad deceitful so for me i don't i don't even see it as a religious thing and i can bet you those people that are doing that don't even go to church they just want to they lie do, actually <laughs> benny 
You know, it's it's not even about COVID nineteen. It, you, it goes it goes as far as things like you know your your blood group, your, yeah. your genotype. I mean, I people. just had to relate the COVID nineteen yeah, case to, to it. it. She, was, know, she wasn't talking about COVID nineteen at all. She was talking you know, about what she has experienced. Yeah. and so I, I don't know. In the life of me, I don't know why anybody want, want to lie about their medical history because it's it's help you're trying to get for yourself. So help can come to you. And so if people can lie as much as think about their blood type and their genotype. It just makes me ask, um, where were you raised? It's what, just what, not their portion. You know. I don't even want to what that means, but it, it is. is your if, you know, if you're if you're SS, <laughs> it's you're what SS. It is. If you're if you're AS, you're AS. I mean, you I understand that for like um, like strangers or if you're meeting someone for the first time or something like that. You're not gonna say hi. My name is if no, I'm but, AS but or for, something. For, for your, but for your doctor, someone like, who's supposed what's to What's the help point you? of them I'm, going? I also to, don't understand this, especially if the person you're meeting is a potential person that you're going to get married. Relax on the potential It's not the first day, I know, but people lie about these things. That's what I'm saying. Right. So the lie thing, now, like you said, I think it's an inherent thing. It's not just happening when you're talking to your doctor yeah. but I'm saying your medical history is not something you should lie about yeah. especially when you're having a conversation with someone who can be affected yeah. by your lies you so, can also say that they're, they're, they're kind of transferring their, their idiocracy so you because you are uneducated you think that your doctor is also not un uneducated, uneducated because you know. if you knew how science works you know that there's really no point lying you're just stalling the inevitable so it's also a lack of knowledge I'll be very disappointed if educated people are also on this table it will amaze you they are, they are they're lying they are, down on the I mean, table. They are, they are they're largely, shaking the table. They are largely on this table. You know, again, it stems from a place of dishonesty, falsehood, and largely, again, illiteracy and religion. Mm. You know, because I don't get it. You're sick. Somebody, somebody's sick and it's telling you... Um, God forbid, I think we I should stop not... blaming religion. We... Let's just put this in on no. mental health. Because I'm a Christian. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, but, but, wow. Yes. But, they have um, mental health um, issues. Um, um, a lot of... This is, <laughs> I don't want to say... It's a question of faith. You no, know, it's not. That's not fake. So I think they have, see yeah. that as fake. People have, yeah. and it, and if, I com, if I confess negative, if I say how I'm feeling, then I'm, I'm probably destroying my faith. Maybe I'm yeah. hungry is I'm hungry. No, no, I'm when it comes to I'm hunger, no, 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 when money. it comes to hunger, they don't tell you, no, I'm not hungry. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid, I'm not, <laughs> all these fake guys, it's all about people choosing now. Okay. Pretty selective. Mm, back to our COVID-19 issues and lockdown. Timmy Dakolo shares video of traffic at Lekki despite lockdown. He tweeted at Governor Somolu saying, from my balcony, I can see traffic on Lekki Road. Dear Governor Jide Somolu, sir. Negotiations are not listening. Yesterday evening, commercial buses were carrying passengers. Yeah. We've seen that as well. Yeah, we were, we were. I was going to say, mm -hmm. oh, we all went home yesterday yeah. night together and we saw traffic at yeah. um, the Osaka London bus stop. And yeah. everyone was like, okay, why is there traffic, traffic. on the lockdown? Mm -hmm. And the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, couldn't have said any better. I'll go back to his statement yesterday. If you don't behave yourselves. I don't, I don't know what is wrong with us. <laughs> if you don't behave yourselves. We're all yourself. getting groceries. No, getting groceries every day. And we're chilling, and there's like four cars from the same house going to go and buy groceries. groceries you it know, is well, though, my people. You know, I don't it's even well. want to say about this again. You know, like, we're not just ready. Mm. I think Nigerians also don't under, don't really like the culture of vacationing. I don't think I don't think we like that. No, it's not, it's not in our culture. Vacation. It's not. It's really not in our yeah, culture, you know what no. I mean? We, it's we, not, it's, it's the idea of vacation of like just taking a step Two back weeks. to relax. People Two don't weeks. really did like you, that. You, because the people that I'm seeing that are making traffic are not the ones that need money like yesterday yeah. do you get what i mean they like they have out there. exactly did they just want to be busy the reaction when um the announcement for the public holiday <laughs> what came was that up? please easter i mean easter monday um so yeah that's another Good thing Friday. So i think it's a mistake i can talk about that i okay. can't take that seriously on the news i don't understand it we're on a lockdown and um, I don't it's holiday, holiday after holiday. Um, it, holiday. It's already a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a holiday, it's a lockdown. Just let, we know about what's Easter. What's the difference? Like, that's it. I mean, um, what's going to happen in that in on a that holiday? holiday? Are we going to be able to like, lock down? What have, we, like go out and have go fun? Out? That's what well, people are allowed to go out. So I didn't see it the makes need no for that. I think that, that that information could have been said somehow differently. Yeah, like you said, in the spirit of lockdown, I hope you guys maybe celebrate Easter, Easter in which your is house. Monday, so, Sunday. I really don't care because my birthday is on Monday. Guys. Okay. And it's a public holiday. So you know, that's what I'm saying. You're going to be here doing the same thing that you did I, I every other day. Information Everybody else will be locked down. So I was down. expecting it after the announcement. So, so you are for these two days or three you days, you're free to go out. No, we're not going out anywhere. So. Hello, just, just yeah. tell people in the spirit of lockdown, we want to wish you a, a happy Easter celebration on this date. Stay safe, stay protected, and 
It wasn't I think Lagosians needs to listen. If you're watching, you need to listen. Because I am personally hoping that this lockdown doesn't get extended. But from what we are seeing, except there is something else or some or some other form of measurement the Ministry of Health will be using to, to look at this, I, I think we deserve an extension if we are going to contain this disease. But however, I am not the expert on this issue. I don't work with, I don't work with NCDC. So I don't know if they have been able to trace everybody they are hoping to trace and all that, but you know, in my, we'll in, my, in, my in my honest opinion, I, I feel the efforts of the executive governor of Lagos State, Babadide Saolu, was truncated by this secession order that came from above. Yeah. You know, because he was already doing a fantastic job. We mentioned job. it. Yes, yeah. he it felt like there wasn't yes. a yeah. communication. Yeah. You know, like it was just so a decision. Yeah, I, felt, I felt it was on the right path, on the right, right course. I feel like he's taking one step back and Lagosians are taking like 10 steps. Yeah. Like, yeah. No one steps yeah. forward and then we're taking 10 steps because back. Because I think yeah. he was doing the whole lockdown thing gradually. Like yeah. trying to make sure we take it gradually. First he was a count. And, first he said um, you know, 50 people. Yeah. Then he said 25. And but then 20. Then our president came and said... He wanted to impose an 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew, which in our age on, you know what I mean? And I just, I just felt he wasn't, he wasn't given the opportunity to do what he would have done better with this. And again, I'm concerned about what Timmy said about pa buses being on the road. Buses? Where are, the are you law kidding law enforcement me? agents? No, you, you give them 500 naira. And they let you and go. And they let you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. I think that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this conversation and all our exclusive content by visiting and subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my amazing co-anchors, Ife Omai and Benny Ak and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please stay home and stay safe.